What's going on, everybody? Uh, first off, I'm smoking some Delta Mojo, of course. Got a big, a big haul of it from uh, uh, Big Star Cigar yesterday, and I'm smoking my Eric Ganey pipe. Now, there's a reason why I'm smoking my Eric Ganey pipe with some Delta Mojo. This is going to be a VR to uh, Greg Wolford. He wanted to know or wanted to see some cool things that uh, somebody has made, you know, be it with uh, along the lines of pipe smoking hobby or, or what have you. Um, so, first and foremost, Eric Ganey made me this pipe. It's a poker. Um, I think it was about number seven or eight from 2013. And then, of course, Greg Baldwin better known as Crossroads Greg, made me some, well he didn't make me some, I like to think he made it personally for me, but uh, <laughs> made some, uh, uh, a very nice tobacco that's become very popular lately called Delta Mojo, so got that, alright, next, is she up? Morning time. <laughs> All right, <laughs> sorry about that. My daughter's supposed to be taking a nap. All right, so I have a small collection of tampers, uh, indie tampers, not quite as extensive as Ben Collarbone Double Zero. But I'll share that with you right quick. First, I've got a couple made from a good friend of mine, Angela. She made this one, sent it to me. And then she made this one and gave it to me at the Southeastern YouTube Pipe Presenters Conference. So that's two tampers. Um, I have two made from wood, local wood, from Kevin's Pipe Tampers. This one is made from pine, uh, found along Lake Hartwell here in the northeast of South Carolina and north, no, northwest of South Carolina, northeast corner of Georgia. And this one's made from maple. And you can see the two uh, have the K's branded on the end. So that's two tampers from Kevin's, Kevin's Pipe Tampers. Um, have a Hobby Pipes Tamper, Ray made this for me, or he didn't make it for me, I actually won it in a raffle. Um, so that was a, that's a pretty nice one. Um, Jimmy Rob, Jimmy Robertson, uh, like Greg said, makes uh, neat little custom tampers with a shell casing and a deer antler. Uh, he made that and sent it to me a while back, so that's a, one of my prized possessions. Um, and then also have a Nathan Campbell tamper. Um, very ergonomic, if you will. It's got the two little finger indentions right here. Feels real comfortable in the hand. And speaking of Nathan Campbell, he restored a pipe for me one time. And uh, he sent it back with a pipe stand that he made. Very simple design, but that pipe to this day still sits in this tamper. Uh, it's just I'm a, this tamper in this stand, and it's just perfect. Fits nicely. Um, you never see a white leather pipe stand, so that's pretty cool. And then, last but not least, I know this doesn't have anything to do with uh, pipe smoking, but a buddy of mine at work, I used to, I, I still do when I get a chance. Used to be pretty big into turkey hunting, um, but now with two kids, I hardly ever get a chance during the month of April, so. But he made me a turkey call. And it's actually made two two woods that come from the upstate here in South Carolina. And another one I'll tell you about in a minute. But um, my buddy's name's Ricky. And uh, it's called uh, Killer Bee Calls. Um, and I'll just I'll read what he, he wrote down here on the bottom. It says, box made from 80-year-old walnut cut by T.J. Hanks in Iva, South Carolina, which is about 30 minutes away. Um, the lid and base made from wild cherry cut in Iva. South Carolina. 
And then the, this is the cool part, the side dressing, and this is not local, uh, the side dressing made from red cedar and koa cut in Hawaii. And he made this in March of 2011. So, pretty cool, huh? I mean, let me work it right quick. I think I can. I made this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you what else we made. He was custom made. So, anyway, hey Greg, thanks for the contest, buddy. Congrats on your subs. Um, I got a great feeling they'll continue to grow in number. Uh, thanks for all your positivity in the pipe community. Uh, God bless. Love you guys, and y'all take care. We'll see you later.